How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is doing well. Let's talk about The Dark Tower, this new Stephen King adaptation that stars Idris Elba and Matthew McConaughey. This is based off of a popular book series by Stephen King that I have personally not read. But after watching this movie, I do have some interest in reading this series. I know this has a huge following of fans and they've been waiting for a Dark Tower movie for a long time. This movie is about Jake Chambers who has these dreams of a gunslinger and man in black. And the man in black is trying to attack a tower that can destroy all the worlds in this realm. No one believes him of these visions and he ends up going to the middle world and meeting up with the gunslinger to try to stop the man in black. I really didn't know what to expect from this movie. The trailer looked pretty cool. Some pretty cool action sequences from Idris Elba. Ultimately, this movie was just fine. There wasn't really much to offer that really got me excited. We'll start with some of the good things first. I did think some of the acting was decent for this type of film. No one was a really big standout for me, but also no one really was that terrible. It was just right in the middle. I do think that Idris Elba and this young boy that plays Jake Chambers had a pretty good chemistry that started off kind of iffy, but then ended very nicely. And Matthew McConaughey wasn't someone to go home and talk about. He just had some pretty bad hairstyle that I think was the only thing going for him. The beginning of the movie was pretty promising. It had some suspense and you're kind of curious about how he, Jake is connected to this world. And then when he gets to this world, that's when the film really does drop. When Jake is in this middle world with the gunslinger and trying to find the location of the man in black, that whole period of the film is really boring. It is boring. There are just a lot of people talking around the campfire, talking about the past and the man in black, but we really don't know much about the man in black, what his intentions are for the Dark Tower, and just stuff like that in general. They don't really give any clues or insights into why he wants to destroy the Dark Tower. It's just kind of not there. It's non-existent. He wants to start an apocalypse, but why? So for the whole time where he is on this world, it drags, it's boring, it's dull, there's nothing much exciting going on. Then we bring Idris Elba, as you see in the trailer, back to New York, and that's when I feel like the film is a little fun. He's like a fish out of water. He's curious about the world, and there's some pretty cool action sequences at the end. Pretty cool action sequences. Nothing else for the film is that fun. We get these two characters, played by Idris Elba and Matthew McConaughey, who have really great abilities. Idris Elba is really good with guns, and Matthew McConaughey can control minds and objects around him. Pretty cool, you think that them dueling it out would be really fun. The end is just that, it's fun. But for the whole film, they're kind of hyping up these characters. He's the gunslinger, he's really awesome. Then there's the man in black who has all these abilities. They're not really showcasing their abilities. Yeah, there's a few scenes here and there where Idris Elba has his guns and he's wheeling them around and then you have Matthew McConaughey who's doing some things with controlling of minds but they really don't showcase their potential and what they could really do. It really isn't until the end where they go all out with their abilities. I felt like if they would have showed their abilities a little more in the beginning or in the middle of the film they would have felt like significant characters. Really, they just feel like typical human characters that really have nothing much to offer. If they would have showed a little more, I would have felt a little more for them. Overall, this film was rather boring for a large part of the film. The beginning was kind of fun and the end was kind of fun, but for a large chunk, it's just sitting by a fire, talking and learning about certain things. That's about it. There isn't much to remember about this film. It is mediocre. Nothing truly exciting happens. And I'm gonna go ahead and give The Dark Tower a C. I heard they're trying to adapt it into a television series. I'd be curious as to how that goes. I also spotted four references to other Stephen King novels in there, which I thought was pretty cool. Did you notice more Stephen King references in the movie? Comment down below with ones that you recognize. I'd be curious to check out the series. I've heard it's really good and it has a strong fan base for it. And people are really hyped up for this movie due to the books and the trailer. As someone who has not read the books, I was disappointed. Wasn't very good. Thank you guys, check out my review for The Dark Tower. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more upcoming movie reviews, Netflix reviews, Blu-ray hauls, Funko Pop hauls. Got a lot of things coming your way. You guys are the best as always. Let's just watch movies and you stay classy, YouTube.